Hello my friends, welcome back to our fun let's play of oh, Zero Time Dilemma. I am the Flatless Bird, this is your Storybiz Gaming Channel, and uh, today we are going down Eric's path here, where he stares blankly at the camera. Not really sure what he's doing, but we're about to find out. Let's waste no time, let's jump right in. Pop off. That could mean a lot of different things in this game. 1810, 610. Uh, this place is. <sighs> in the pod room, I think. The Something pod like that room? was written on the map. But I don't see any pods here. More importantly, where's Mira? Huh? Mira! Where is she? Well, even if you ask me... Does that mean you don't know? Is she alive or is she dead? Shit! I hope Zero didn't... I won't forgive him! I won't! It's hard to tell in this game sometimes, Mira, you know? Mira is my angel! <laughs> Open! Open! Eric, calm down! How can I be calm? Mira might be stuck all alone somewhere, crying her heart out. <sighs> I will say one thing, Eric is very committed. Eric, you need to stay calm in moments like these. You're just wasting your energy flailing about like that. Please, Eric. I know. Of course I know that. But there's no way I can just sit still here. Mira, the person most important to me. When I think about how she must be suffering right now. I, I feel the same way. I don't want you or Mira to be hurt at all. It's hard for me to even think about it. I don't have any memories. Poor I don't kid. even know who I am. I can't remember if I have someone important. Aww. I know to you and the others, I look suspicious for a person you just met. But to me, how I am right now, everyone here is all I have. Because of that, I consider all of you very important to me. Aww. I don't want to hate anyone. I want to like you. I mean, if I don't, I'll be really sad. I really like this kid. Hey, um, I'm sorry about before. Yelling at you, I mean. Like you said, we gotta stay calm, right? Eric. Come on. Let's find a way out of here, quick. Will you help me to do that? Yeah, of course. I'll help. I don't know if it's going to be quick. Oh, that means there's a skip room, right? Time to put up the timer. Seek a way out. All right, all right, give me a second. I need a... No, that's not the right timer. That's uh, from last time. Uh, There we go. All right. Well, let's look around. Um, this looks really, really interesting, by the way. It looks a lot like the, uh, the dart boards, uh, that we've seen in Zero Time, um, not Zero Time Dilemma, uh, Virtue Last Reward. Is that it? I mean, is this the entire room? Hmm. Well, I always like to say, um, we should check the exit first. Ah. Uh, the door's to the exit, isn't it? Damn it, Zero! Open this door! I said open it! It's locked, like I thought. There is a keyhole, though. The exit is locked, but I can see a keyhole. Alright, so let's go left as we always go left. Let's look up and down as well. Oh, I missed something. Uh, they're on the monitor too, right? Maybe it means something. I don't know. 
Could just be a pattern on the wall. Oh, what's that? The green? Do these green lines mean something? Okay. What about the red circle? Uh, what is this red circle? A pattern? No, a mark. Uh, there are two on the floor and two on the ceiling. What does it mean? Two on the floor and two on the... Ah. Oh. So we got three green and two red. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a lot in this room. Uh, there are strange screws, huh? There's a metal thing in here. We can't get it out like this. Dang it! Uh, there's a metal gear in here. Are we supposed to even get it? Hey, there's a hole in here. Stick your hand in, okay? Wait, uh, what? And try to get the gear? I don't really think my arm's long enough. Oh, come on, your hand's small. Just do it. Maybe you can reach it. Okay, okay, if you say so. Urgh, my arm's stuck! Urgh, no good, huh? What are you doing? You're a total klutz. There's no way you could have reached it anyway. I was just joking, get it? You're so mean. You're the one who told me to do it. Alright, just help me get my arm out. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of cute. Okay. So I guess the only thing we can do is look at that big... Uh, the big thing in the wall back there. Normally I say we go left or right first, but... I mean, that, that big room in the back is so obvious. Is this that reinforced glass stuff? It looks thick and hard. Uh, there's a button on the other side of the glass. Maybe it's a fire alarm? Or a self-destruct button? Haha, <laughs> it's not, right? Uh, there's a button behind that reinforced glass. I wonder what it's for. Uh, these green lines are on the screen. What does that mean? Some kind of code? Uh, I don't know. We don't have enough information. Uh, we don't know what they mean. Okay, well... Um, I think it's about time we, uh... By the way, I just realized you can actually zoom faster around the menu if you take your uh, cursor and you move it to the edge of the screen and you hit the L1 or R1 button. I mean, I know it's kind of late to figure that out, but whatever. Uh, I mean, if this, I mean, this playthrough goes 88 episodes like previous one did, it's not too late at all. Let's see here. Hey, it's a hammer. We could break down the door with this. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. But it's probably useful for something else. We need to get this cover open. I think there are only two locks on the top and bottom. This puzzle looks annoying. Uh, you like these kind of things, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess I'll leave it to you then. I do it myself, but since I'm nice, I'll let you try. Uh, isn't it just that you don't want to do it? Probably. Okay, what do we have here? That was it? That was so simple. Okay. Oh, you got it? I could have done it faster. Yeah, 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 sure. Let's do this one. Huh, see? I, I think you should do this one. Huh? Why? Uh, well, we'll divide the rolls. Uh, this is too easy for me. So I'll take care of what comes later. Ah, uh, if you say so. Okay, I'll try it. Um, up, left, down. This is way too easy, you guys. Something's going on. Woohoo, it's open. Yay, the cover can open now. Yeah, let's get that hammer. Now I can smash things with this. We have a giant hammer. Huh. Eh, it's a hammer. It's too big for me to swing around. It'd be great if I could break down the door. Okay. Let's look at, um, this thing. Uh, what's this round shiny thing? It's got a bunch of numbers on it. Uh, this just seems suspicious. It's not a touch it and you die trap, is it? What? I already touched it. At least it doesn't look like anything happened. Just what is this thing? Does it mean something? Uh, this has to uh, activate or trigger something, but what could that be? Okay. We got a giant hammer now. We use the giant hammer here. Why is there a hole here? It's not as if we can reach the gear part. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Alright. Can we smash the uh, glass? What if we try breaking the glass with a hammer? 
Uh, it doesn't hurt to try. Just make sure you don't break the button. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, here I go. Oh, that hurts. My hands are gone numb. And the glass? Nope, I ain't gonna crack. And I'm not strong enough? Was this hammer bad? Dang it. <laughs> there are three green lines on screen. Yeah, what do they do? Not even a hammer can crack it. Why is this button protected by glass? Hmm. What do we do with the green hammer? Out of my way. I'm gonna break the lock with this. Oh, wait, Eric. If you break it, we might get stuck in here forever. You're right. Darn it. I need to find mirror. Fast. Hmm. What do we use the hammer for? If we hit this with a hammer, maybe. Huh? Nothing's happening. How about we try the other marks? Okay. It's kind of weird, but okay. Um. Let's try this one. Hey, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Hey! The room just tilted! Oh man, that was scary. Looks like hitting the red marks rotates the room. Well, what's the point of all this? I have no idea. Yeah! Huh? Nothing happening. How about we try the other marks? Here I go. Huh? Nothing's happening. I'm gonna try the other marks. Here I go. One, two. Oh, um, it looks like it's just sticking out. Is this right? I have no idea. Probably need to hit somewhere everywhere with a mark. My job is just to hit stuff. Yep, yep, that's basically your job. Hey ya! Okay. Here I go. Oh man, this is a good workout. Now this frame sticks out like the other one. Hey, is this really okay? What if we're not supposed to hit some of the red circles? What? Don't say that after I started hitting them. Uh, you flailed the hammer around before I could say anything? It's fine. Let's just keep going. Right? Ooja! Okay. Hiya! Okay, so that seems to reset the room. Ooja! Um, bullseye. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to hit that one. Whoa. It's getting wild. Wait a second, what's that over there? Huh? It's too out of reach. Eric, can I climb on your shoulders? Look, what I have to. Uh, but if it was Mira asking, heh heh, Mira's dies. Oh, well, what's with you, Eric? Your face looks really creepy. Center reach. Maybe rotating the room will bring it closer. Okay. I need to rotate some more. Uh, this one? Bullseye. Alright, hit it again. And again. Okay, it should be in reach now. Uh, this is this is like that game. What was it? When we got the car out of the parking lot. Oh, I know that game too. Why do I know that? Maybe you played somewhere before. Whatever, let's just get this off. I have never heard of that game. Where? Um, I can't remember. I just realized that I had my mic muted during that whole entire section. I'm sorry about that. Um, nice. That that wasn't too bad. That was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I had to mute my mic quite a lot, you know, when I'm coughing, um, so, sorry about that. Yes, it's unlocked. I knew you could do it. Alright, well, time to do the next one. Not these pills again. Okay, I'll leave this to you. You got this. You're so unreliable, Eric. I'm just really glad I noticed that my mic was muted, um, after only that short puzzle and not, you know, 20 minutes later. Uh, that would have been, you know, that's something that could happen, I guess. Um... Can I rotate these? Um, no, you cannot rotate. Okay. So what if we do this? Move it around. Like that. 
move this one to the right. And then we move this down. Nice. Pretty cool puzzles. No, nothing complicated, but pretty cool. Yay, it's open. <laughs> that was easy. I got both locks open. Now we can open the cover. All right, let's get that driver thingy. It's a large driver. What can we use this for? What is this anyway? Like, what? I mean, it's a handle for a large driver. The tip is pointed. We can't use it unless we attach something to it. Okay, we can't attach a hammer to it, that's for sure. Um, uh, what next? We continue to spin the room. I guess we get it back later if we have to. Okay, we're just gonna leave it like that then. Okay. What exactly are we doing? Oh, there's something down here. Uh, just have to pick up the hammer. Then we won't have to do a stupid puzzle. I guess that won't work. Oh, my hand's gone numb again. Yeah, let's uh, do the puzzle here. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I'll work on that. I'll let you concentrate on this over here. Um, oh. Okay. All right, I don't understand how that one worked, but it seemed pretty easy. Yay, it's open. The left lock is done. It's a really weird room. Eric, are you ignoring me? Fine, I'll throw it too. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I just get through him. He's just completely useless at this stage. Like, he doesn't say anything at all. Um, move this like this. And move this over. Easy peasy. These are really easy. Yes, the right side is done. Yes, the cover opened. Great, now we can examine that serrated hole. And this picture is, is that a zero doll? A what? Zero doll picture, powder room. Become me. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. Okay, that's not a little bit creepy. That's a lot of it creepy. That's like on the creepiness scale of zero, of uh, virtue last reward. When uh, there was that inflatable zero the third. That, that was creepy. How does that help? Uh, it's a straight up hole. Uh, I think something can go in here. Is there anything like this in this shape? I think I saw something somewhere. Um, is that uh, this thing here? I thought this driver thing would work, but the head's not matching the hall. If we had a part that could connect the two, then it'd work. Hmm. Is there a part up here, possibly? Which means we would have to rotate everything around again, right? Let's see. Um, this one? No, not that one. That was the wrong one. This one? And this one? And that one? Uh, I don't see anything that's up or down. Uh, the cover's off. Nothing's happening. I guess taking the cover off is enough. We should take a look at the hole. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know where the next, um. Oh, wait a second. I need to try it just at least once. Here I go. One, two. Oh, stop it. Reinforced glass. Let's find a way to get out that's not so physical. My hands are really going numb. We're, we're rotating this thing, too. The part's a different spot. Hey, I think we can reach it now. Not me. Yeah, fine, I'll do it. Eww. Dang it, just a bit more. What are you saying? Why are you even close? And are you, are you taking that seriously? What? No, I'm just kidding around. It was a joke. So what we need to do is we need to spin this. I think we have to go to the left here. 
because the idea is we need it to we need to make it so that it can um dang it i don't want to do that i want to i want to keep spinning it stop it come on there we go there we go still not yet man that is so disorienting the way it just like goes around like that this should be it though right bullseye got it finally we can reach it aha i know it's just the man for the job i feel tired suddenly and we got a driver tip we can put the driver tip in the driver now we have a large driver which we can use on the thing down here Uh, I think the driver can pin this hole. Could you help me, Eric? Aha, there it goes. Perfect job. Good job. Now, let's see if we can move it. Okay. <clears throat> now, what do we do? Um. We have to total it. To a number. I have no idea what I just did. Like, all I did was just move it right to left. I do not know why that worked. Oh, well, we failed. Oops, I think we messed up. I guess the number can't go into negative. We better be careful. So the number can't go into the negative. We beat the first ring. I think we need to make the 30 become zero this time. Okay. How exactly do we do that? Let's try turning it again. Okay. So, if I go left to 10, no, if I go right to 20, apparently it's opposite. The red ones add numbers, the blue ones subtract them. Oops. Okay, um, so what we need, okay, I'm starting to understand this puzzle. We need to get to zero, um, but the red numbers subtract. I'm sorry, the red numbers add, and the blue numbers subtract. Um, 31, that's 10. That gets us 20, but then we have 17. Ah, shoot, I knew that. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I don't know why I did it. So what we basically have to do is we have to manipulate this to make it zero. So that's 50, 33, 30, and then 16. We add 10. Um, That's not gonna help us. We have five. If we go back to 10, it's not gonna help. So that's 25, which if we go to, if we go to 17, we lose. So we got to go back to 21. That gives us 4. That gives us 24. 3. 23. 2. Ha ha ha! Figure that one out. Alright, we're at 100 now. So 75. 60. 35, can't do that again, 58, 81, 104, 127, 118, 149, 180, so close, so close. 83, 58, 91, that's not going to help me, 99, that's not going to help me, 107 is not going to help me, 115, so close again, 100. I am really, really close to figuring this out, I'm just like one number away, um, that'll make 46, 
And then that will make it 21. 54. 19. 14. 60. Oh, that's so close. That is so close. 27, 17, 50 again. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. Um, let me go back this way. Eighty-five. No, we need it to be sixty-five here. So we can do that. Sixty-six is really, really close. Fifty-seven is not really close. Fifty-five. Oh, if only we could go around the other side, we would have it. Oh, we were so right there. Oh, this is a really, really deep puzzle because the way the numbers keep adding and subtracting. Um, oh, so close again. <clears throat> I think uh, I think I've gotten to five a few times now. Um, trying to find a whole number. I'm just saying five is whole. Ten off. 10 off. Ninety. Again, if we could only get to that twenty-five, we'd be good. But we can't. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel a few more times. Try to think of a way to do this. Um I'll go ahead and fast forward this and uh hopefully I'll be right back in just a minute and won't take too long. Hey, what do you know? It didn't take long at all. Uh, when I got down to that one, I was like, oh, come on. Really? One point? Really? But uh, we stuck with it, and it worked. Yay, it worked. And now? Now what? Okay. I think we can insert the big driver into this hole. Let's see if we can do it. What the heck? Turning the whole dang place. But what purpose does this serve? Wow, cool, it's really turning. Well, that looks easy enough. But what am I turning it for again? Uh, let's see, how about we put the floor and ceiling back in place for now? Okay, well, I want to look at this giant hole that's in the ground, but guess not. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and put everything back in place. How do we do that? I mean, I don't see a way to do that unless, um, this really is just rotating the room. Do we have any hints or marks to guide us? Hmm, marks. Oh, maybe the green lights on the floor and ceiling? I get it. Maybe we all have to line these lines to get match up. But don't we have to use, um, the uh, hammer to do that? Oh. I guess we can't. Hmm. The only problem though is the way this thing rotates, um, <clears throat> it only rotates so much. Like right there. But I don't think we can uh, move it anymore. Yeah, I don't think we can move it anymore once it's uh, in this position. So how do we solve this? Because, I mean, you either go left or you go right. I mean, there's just no other way. Ah. Look what we got here. That is correct, sir. Except not. I mean, we need a... 
clip it. Like, another time. Oh, there it goes. That time I grabbed that one. And that time I grabbed that one. So how do we know when it grabs one and when it grabs all of them? Maybe we just gotta continue to rotate it? <clears throat> mm, no. What was that? How do we just do that? I, I don't know how we just did that, but we did something. Where we separated two of them from each other. You see that? See that? Aha! Bullseye! The green floor lines on the floor all match up. And oh, we got another puzzle. And a gun. Great. The mod is slid up? Ah, uh, must be because we matched everything. But hey, look over there. That don't tell me that's it's a gun. Wonderful. That's exactly what we need in a death game, a gun. Ah, uh, this puzzle's pretty hard. I'm sure you can do it. It's easy for you, right? Open it up and let's get the shotgun. As it for you to say. Uh, fine, I'll do it. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. No. No. Hmm. We go down. This one is actually a little bit difficult. Because I can't rotate pieces. If I could rotate pieces, this would be much easier. I can't rotate, right? Move cursor resets all pieces. No, I can't rotate. So how do I... That up. That over there. That over there. I don't know if that does anything. I need to... I need to get this one all the way down here. And then I need to get this one up there. But then what about this piece here? Where does this go? Because this is all the way up here, then that green bar has to stay there. Can't seem to... Maybe I gotta move the purple one out first. So I gotta move this one like over here. And then I gotta move this purple piece back there. I can't do that. I can only move it down. Because of the blue piece there. But can I get that rid of that blue piece somehow? Maybe move it like this. And now I can move this purple piece up and over. And then this piece up and over. And then like that. And now I can move this down here. But I still have this blue piece. What do I do with this blue piece? I mean, I could do that, but now this blue piece is in the way. Looks like I can't get both pieces where I need him to. Alright. Time to rack my brain and to hit the fast forward button.
There we go. Excellent. Ooh, that took a little brain work. Yes, it worked. All right, good job. I knew you could do it. Okay, now for the other one. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I got a fool of me. Want we'll to do this puzzle again? Calm down, Eric. This kind of puzzles get harder the more tense you are. I know. Of course not. I'm calm. Really. I've done it so many times already. Uh, you did? I did all the puzzles. Yeah, I know, Eric. Please. Oh my god, I got a cross. Ugh. Alright, so <clears throat> the cross can either go... It looks like this is perfectly symmetrical. So since it's perfectly symmetrical, the cross could go down or could go up. So let's start by manipulating some of these pieces. <clears throat> hmm. What if I... If I move this up like this and put that up there, and I move this around like this, and then with this over here, I could actually move this one all the way to the left. Now, I can move this like this. I can move this one all the way down. Now, I can tuck these into the corner so they're completely out of my way. Um, the green can go up here. No, I need, I need the plus to be up here somehow but now I got one oh wait wait I can fix this no no I can fix this uh, the yellow can go up here and the blue can go straight down there perfect bullseye you know these are uh, I think these are not too difficult but actually a little bit of fun I'm enjoying this yay I did it <laughs> well done. Now I'm closer to getting the gun. Phew. Well, I got the two locks off. That was so hard. <laughs> now, now the shotgun is mine. Um, yours? I don't think so. Yes, yes. I finally got the shotgun. Uh, Eric, I know you're happy. But don't swing it around like that. Shotgun. Don't point it at yourselves, kids. <laughs> now with this you look like the person who dies first in a zombie movie <laughs> rule one cardio don't say things like that what do we do with the shotgun do we blow this off get back now this is definitely going to break the glass huh wait ah yes the glass broke ah uh, that was scary you didn't think about the ricochet so one thing, the only things I could trust right now are myself and this big gun. Well, what about me? I'm the one who did all the puzzles. <laughs> that stupid glass couldn't withstand the power of this gun. I'm just glad the button is safe. So now what? Are we going to push it? Who knows what it does? But we can't stand around doing nothing, right? Oh, I have to find Mira. She could be in a whole lot more trouble than us. Ah. Uh... I thought that would be the escape that this is. Mira. Hey, we found it. 36.53. When the big leagues now. When the big leagues now. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.